them folks that open up them nail shop, they just don't know what kind of divine significance it is, how divine and significant it is when you go in to get your feet clean. Yeah. I sat up there as I was soaking. And guess what? The anointing is not like what y'all think. Yeah. The anointing, the definition for anointing means to rub on. Yeah. And it ain't talking about rubbing on you when you dry. After you have soaked. Yeah. Anointing. If you look up the anointing, the Bible said that it is the anointing that destroys the yoke, not your scrubbing. The scrubbing destroys the spirit of that person. I'm talking about the spirit, that character, their mind, their heart, it destroys that. But the anointing, the Bible said the anointing is the only thing that can destroy the yoke. It's the only thing that can destroy the attachment, what they have attached themselves to. Negativity, depression, hurt, pain, suffering, sin, iniquity, transgression, and whatever has happened. Only the anointing can destroy that. The anointing is, is, is not when you get up and everybody just going crazy. The anointing is not when you sing and everybody just going wild. That is not the anointing. The anointing means that I am getting ready to set you apart for a holy service. Look at somebody say, I'm going to know what the anointing is. Just let me go with it. Let me go with it. The anointing separates you from the yoke of bondage. It separates you to whatever had you bound. So when you look at anointing, it means to rub on or to smear. So when I had my feet up there, before she even scrubbed, she got she grabbed her little bag and she put her back down and she brought out a substance. Come here, baby. So I'm gonna use her because it's our anniversary. She's gonna help me preach today. She's gonna try to get some pain out. And she's gonna, you're gonna help me preach today. You're gonna preach today. Sit down, baby. So she grabbed my feet. I ain't gonna take a shoe off. She grabbed my feet. Oh, no, me. she let it get moist it was ready yeah. after my skin had softened it was ready guess what happened it makes it easier to talk to somebody because you've given them time to soften you can't scrub in a hard state yeah Yeah. In a hard state. You can't talk to somebody uh-huh. yeah. in a way that you think you have been appointed to talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. In a hard state. Yeah. 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 Because at that point they're hard. Yeah. They're callous. Yeah. They're corroded. Yeah. They've already dealt with things. Yeah. That have been
and my feet was ready. Oh, God. Yeah. Moisten, soft. Yeah. Just like her. She got her done too. <laughs> she brought out a substance. Yeah. And she rubbed it in her hand. Mm. And she began to smear it mm. all over my feet. Yeah. She smeared it. Mm. And she was smearing my feet with this ointment or whatever kind of substance it was. I could see the anointing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes. After you have been soaking, yes. the anointing from the Holy Ghost it comes. Yeah. It is an ointment. That's why this is you know what Jesus, the Bible said about Jesus. Jesus said he come to take care of wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So anytime you have a wound, Jesus put ointment on you. Yeah. So that when you won't get dis, you won't get infected. He put a disinfected on you. Yeah. He put a salve on you. That's why he says, with your eyes, when your eyes have been affected, the Bible says, put a salve on your eyes. Yeah. That's yeah. mm. right. So, so she put something on my feet and she let it sit there for a minute. She let the miss, she let that, that substance. Sit on my feet yeah. mm. for a minute. Yeah. And then guess what else she did after she let it sit on there? She stuck her foot back in the wall. Yeah. Guess yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we do, church? Woo. After you see them, you see the Holy Ghost getting on them one time. You thought that was okay for you to talk to them about their short skirt. Yeah. The Holy Ghost hit them up. Y'all looking at me. I'm yeah. talking to y'all. Them about some stuff and that's the Holy Ghost like, they ain't softened yet. Yeah. 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 They ain't softened yet. They ain't yeah. softened yet. They ain't ready for that conversation yet. Yeah. Right. Mm. So when she put it, put that on me, then she stuck her foot back in the water because she said it's still not ready. I put the ointment on, but it still gotta be softened some more. Because what the heat does, the heat soaks in. Uh, the heat allows what she put on my feet to soak into my, the pores of my feet. Yeah. Glory, yeah. hallelujah. So the fire of the Holy Ghost soaks in. Yeah. Anything that is hot is soaks in. Yeah. It allows it to penetrate yeah. inward. And then she did my other foot the same way. Then she put the other one back in the feet. And then she looked at it. I seen her looking at it. Mm -hmm. Then guess what she started doing? Before she started scrubbing. She started trimming. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She just don't know what happened. I was sitting up there. My wife, they were talking about me. Talking about how handsome I was. Y'all yeah. <laughs> looking at me. Look at me. I wasn't even listening to him. She said, he not even hearing us. The other lady said, he don't want to hear us. No, I was mesmerized at the experience that I was having with God and they didn't even know it. I was mesmerized, I couldn't hear. See, because when God speaks to you, everything else is blocked out. When I seen her trembling, I could see the heart being trimmed. Right. Mm. And she was trimming. God took me in the spirit. He said, this is how I circumcise the heart. Yeah. The heart condition. Yeah. Now you're dealing with some things that is just, that you know when you look at somebody and you can just tell they're going through stuff? Yeah. They ain't, you don't have to figure it out. You don't have to ask nobody. Yeah. It's stuff that you it just show what they're going through. See, it's easy to point out what you can see before you can cleanse what you can't see. And then she was trimming my toenails. He says, look at those, this, this, these, this dead toenail that I'm cutting away. This toenail that could end up disease, and I'm snipping it, and I'm cutting it. And then she took a little tool and she went over the top of my toenail. 
and start getting what's corroded on the toenail. See, she went through the easy part before before she went to the hard part. Yeah. Because the hard part won't take some work. But then God, the way he deal with us, he had to prepare us first before the hard work began. Now, I'm not saying that it's hard for him. I'm saying that sometimes it's not an easy thing yeah. to go through. Yeah, that's right. When you've been going one way all your life, mm. and then all of a sudden God is requiring you to go a different way, Ooh. it is not an easy oh, thing. Right. Right. Amen. It right. takes a lot of patience. Amen. Yeah. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. And, you, and it's very tedious. Mm. Tedious meaning you have to be very careful and it's tricky. Yeah. yeah. It's tricky because a one, even a wrong look would detour. Yeah. A wrong speech, a wrong yeah. word. One heart of the thing be like, I'm just, I'm just like I'm crazy. Yeah, I may be crazy. But it's a good kind. It's the kind that Paul had when he didn't give a hoot. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. See? Prepared and ready. For the scrubbing. Mm. And that's how God do with us. Yes. Amen. And she got finished with my with my toenails. She put my foot back on the thing there and set up there. And uh, she grabbed this little tube that had a hell on it. And she began to just scrub, scrub. Scrub, 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 scrub. Oh, she scrubbed so much. <laughs> but she scrubbed. The scrubbing was the hardest thing that she had to do. Mm. Yes. The cleansing. Getting rid of the corrosion. Yeah. Now, I need y'all to understand what she was doing. By her being a professional, when she scrubbed, she had to scrub one layer first. Amen. See, this is this is what we do. When you 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 feel like God and gave you a go uh -huh, yeah. to just scrub it off. Come on, come on, yeah. come on. Yeah. Now you can scrub something that went through the process, uh -huh. but if you scrub it all at one time, you still create a sore. Yeah. <laughs> you still create a sore, even after all that preparation. This is what happened to folk who, who they, they make a decision to, to live for the Lord Amen. all the time. And you feel like God and gave you a go. Uh. And you just keep scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Every Sunday scrubbing. Every Saturday scrubbing. Every Monday scrubbing. Mm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. <laughs> Until where they may say, I'm tired. <laughs> scrubbing me all the time. <laughs> You're not giving me time yeah. to go through the first layer. Yeah. This is what this is how they did my feet. And my wife would tell you, she was sitting right there with me. The first layer was the first rub. She looked at my wife after she said, he need to come back two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, every two, every two. She put her finger in my face. I said, all right. My wife over there talking about, you hear that, babe? <laughs> I said, I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> she got the firm lay off. Then she put my feet back in the wall. Yeah. See, this is what you got to understand. Good God. <laughs> I can shout by myself. Yeah. She listen. <laughs> Did y'all just hear what it happened? Yeah. Yeah. After she got done with the first lady, yeah. she put my feet yeah. back. Yeah. Why? Because the first lady, yeah. she got off. But then the second lady had to be softened. Did my other foot the same way. Scrubbed it, put it back in the water. Yeah. Then she did it again the third time. And she did it, look, and then she 
did it, then she put it back in the water. Did my other foot, put it back in the water. And then guess what she did? She held it up and said, see, look. Oh.
Then you rub lotion on my leg. Yeah. Yeah. Then you take a hot towel yeah. and you wrap the whole leg yeah. Yeah. and my foot. Yeah. And the scripture told me, he says, because when the, when the multitude was following him, yeah. he made them whole. Yeah. That means that you may go to God with one issue. Yeah. The circumstance that troubled you, the God. 